Yo, what's good? It's J Ruff back at it with Sonic 2. Welcome to the most, probably the most hated zone in the game, and one of the most hated zones in 2D Sonic history. Um, which is also one of my favorite zones in Sonic history. I love Metropolis Zone, and I don't care what anybody has to say. Metropolis Zone is one of my favorite stages of all time. I don't know how, with how many times it's frustrated me, where it's caused me to lose in this game, it's caused me to lose so many rings, it's caused me numerous deaths, numerous enemy placements that have knocked rings out of me numerous times, there are some bottomless pits, there's crushers that... Okay, Tails, now you're just surviving crushers rather than just breaking the game with them. Metropolis Zone has got it all, and it's got a lot that you're not going to be prepared for that's gonna catch you off guard, especially if you've never played this game before. Um, I love its music. You've got these cool gears that you run up and down with, and those things, those are Asterons. You can actually defeat them, um, but since they're in the wall, you won't be able to even touch them before they explode. And they're littered everywhere, and also everywhere. God damn it, Tails, you fucker. Are these slicers? Slicers catch you off guard and just throw them shits right at you. Shell crackers are the, the crab guys that you see, which I think actually, I, I think Astrons are the worst, honestly. I've always thought that, but shell crackers are the, probably the worst, like, qualifiably because you literally like there's n their hitbox is so fucking jank it's so weird like i have no idea when i'm actually hitting them all right jump over here but yes this this zone gets compared to labyrinth zone a lot but i don't see it Fucker. see you can you there was no avoiding that um i mean not that it gets compared to labyrinth zone a lot but this is like this game's labyrinth zone because it's the zone that not a lot of people like from it. Um, but I love it. I love the music. I love that it's just like this area of absolute like, oh shit, there's more. There's still more? And honestly, I think this is way more of like a cool looking Eggman base or Robotnik base, even though it's not a, you know, it's not as gray, at least like the pistons and everything. It looks like stuff is actually moving and shit is actually happening here. Like shit's this is, this is where, like, this is actually where shit gets done. And I like that it's just simply called Metropolis, because, like, you know, it doesn't need to be Robotropolis, it doesn't need to be, like, anything. It's like, oh, this is what Robotnik really wants to build everywhere. And I can't believe I, I don't think I got hit, like, once that entire level, and I get hit in the very beginning of this one. Um, but, like, yeah, it doesn't need to be stated, like, it's just, it's just, this is... The metropolis that Robotnik wants to create everywhere. And wow, that was perfectly timed. Those guys will punch you in the face, but also, let, let look. Oh, the tails, you fucking motherfucker. You're not supposed to do things when I'm trying to show it off how to actually defeat them, or what they're, what I mean by their janky hitbox. Although it could have been improved in this game since it's a newer release. Um, but I know many a people for many a year, like, hate, hate the enemies in this game. Or at least in this level. When people talk about bad enemy placement in this game, this is the level that they're usually talking about. This and, like, Oil Ocean. This is probably the last, like, fuck me. Alright, Tails. Get me back up there. Or actually, better yet. No, Tails. Uh, I want to go to the secret! You also have sometimes, just like in Sonic 1, you got these. Oh, great, thanks. Yeah, if you got Super Sonic, uh, you might want to do that a little early at some point, just so you don't have to, like, uh, I don't know, um, get hit by random fucking things that shouldn't hit you. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. So we'll keep going through this amazing level. Even though I, I hate it, I, I, like, I've hated it for years. I just, like, eventually, you grow to love things that you hate, you know? At least if they're made competently, and this is made very competently. It's a nice challenge, and it doesn't feel like it's too much of a challenge. Um, and we'll see something later that sometimes I feel like is too much of a challenge, but, you know, that's that's for then, and this is for now. Fucking shellcracker. 
And yes, it's a shell cracker. I didn't just say... Uh oh Oh, well, I'm dead. You know, I didn't expect lava to be the thing that got me in this level, but hey, you never expect what actually gets you. Ah, uh, not this time, you cracker. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm, like, stuck. I can't jump. Oh, my God. Jesus. Where did Tails even get those rings? Thank you for getting them out of thin air. Oh, wow. It was right by a checkpoint. Um, I did not like how they brought this sort of back with Mad Gear Zone and Sonic 4. We're not going to be getting to Sonic 4 for a while because... I don't consider it to be a follow-up to these games at all, and if you know how it was actually, like, the creation of it, how it was initially conceived, it was never supposed to be Sonic 4, holy shit! With my boomerangs! He's been watching fucking Sokka a little bit too much there. Um, I can't really think of it, there's much more to say about this level, I just think it's, like... It's, it's emblematic of everything that we've gone through to get to this point at this at this point in this game. You know, like, we've... It, it, it combines all, like, the cool, weird, you know, uh... What am I trying to say? It combines, like, the, the cool, like, level design and stuff like that, and, like, the uh, gimmicks and things like that very well with the enemies. Um, just to create, like, a, a world that, that makes sense to where you'd be going through, like, at least in, I mean, that's for every level, but I think this one, it just, they just put so much that it, it, like, it's supposed to overwhelm the player, just all these bouncy things, all these brown, like, way, doorways and everything, and also it's supposed to overwhelm the player by, uh, letting you know that there's no boss in this level, actually, that, that we just go straight into the next zone, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Act 3, motherfuckers! They brought back the three-act structure for this one level. Because they knew, they fucking knew that this level was going to be a pain in the ass for a lot of people. So they're like, hey, you wouldn't be expecting it, but here it fucking is again. Where you'd be getting ready to go to a robotic boss battle, and guess what? Your ass is sent right back to this zone. Um... I thought when I, when I was a kid, the first time that I ever played this game or I had um, made it this far uh, was wasn't really on my own. It was as tales from my mom playing as Sonic, and the furthest we got wasn't this level. Um, but when we did get to this level, fuck. Okay, that that's right. I said fuck, and then I got uh, soap shoved in my mouth, and I I died. It's actually, that's not what happened. They didn't, my parents didn't put soap in my mouth. That would be kind of abusive. Hey, hey, you might have... You, Tails, you, you, here's an idea. No, don't get crushed. Follow me. No. Spin dash. No, not that! Tails. Really? This way. Go up here. That's a thing. Uh, why the fuck isn't it respawning? Alright, well, I got rings, so I'm not really worried now, but, like, wh wh how far do I have to go to get it to respawn? There you go. Like, jeez, man. So, yeah, if that happens, you're gonna have to off-screen it. But the first time I saw this level, that there was an Act 3, I was like, OH MY GOD, THERE'S MORE?! This was the, and this was, like, the hardest level up to that point, and I'm like, there's, there's more of this?! Alright, Tails, don't fail me now. This is a good level to use that, but then they're like, actually, no. And that was always there from the from before you could even do that with Tails, so it's kind of crazy that... Look at that, they didn't even know what the, they were going to be implementing that would be an issue for gamers, but hell, they did it anyway! Another thing this level has, which I don't know if we ran into one, no we didn't. Not yet. Um, this level loops in certain aspects. You could fall straight down like a uh, shaft, eh, shaft, get it, shaft in this level, and... Um, you'll just loop until you actually, um, fuck. Don't hit me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Alright, good. I think I hit it in, like, the sweet spot. If you get it in the- if you try to hit it- Alright. How was I supposed to know that was gonna be there? Come on, game. I'm de I love this level. It's actually- it's quite literally, and I did a ranking in the, since the last, uh, recording session. Um, or at least I up- tried to update my ranking. And yeah, I knew I was gonna fucking land on him, and I don't wanna... Whatever. 
I just want to get rings, um, so I can cheese the boss fight. Which I think is coming up right here. Um, well not right here, but in a short second. Oh shit, oh shit, there's a lot of things that were about to kill me. Um... But, uh... Yeah, so in my ranking, I would actually maybe put this, um... As the glitchiest level in Sonic. No. It's actually probably... It's it definitely in the top five. I, I didn't... Alright, I put it as, as my third favorite Sonic stage of, of the classic series. Um, I think there's something in here as well, actually. No, it looks like it goes down. Or it looks like that would be an area for me to jump in. Um, yeah, this is probably my third favorite zone. And my second favorite zone in the game. Um, yeah. I like Metropolis, and if you don't, well, I respect your opinion, because there are definitely valid reasons for not liking this zone. Um, but, and like, I consider, like, oh, thank god that was just, thank god that was right where that was. Perfectly placed by me. Oh wait, I could still keep going up? I mean, I could get, if you keep doing this all the way up, you'll get crushed by it. Hey, you already lost your Slicey McSlicers? Oh god, and he's still threatening. I was really hoping I was going to be able to get 50 rings, but that is the uh, last checkpoint. So unfortunately, I'm going to go in this boss fight as naked as a grandma. All right, and now Robotnik's balls. I actually thought this was like a really... I always thought this was a really cool boss fight. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hit him when you, you see an opening. But I just like to bum rush and hit him so so many times. And when I first saw this boss fight, I was like, "Oh my god, this is fucking some." I wouldn't have thought at the time, or even thought to say it at the time, but this is some like Lovecraftian shit. And then once you're done, he shoots his big laser, and that's it. I actually thought I probably I die sometimes to that boss, so I'm kind of surprised I got it in one shot. But there we go, release the monkeys. And we've defeated Metropolis Zone. Guys, was it that bad? Was it really that bad? I died once. It was not that bad. Metal no, please! There is only one way to stay tuned to JRuff's latest uploads and updates, and that's by subscribing and hitting the bell as well. Metal! No! And after you're done with Labyrinth Zone, you have this nice, relaxing time in Sky Chase. The first Sky Chase. This is where Sonic Adventure got it from, guys. This is where Tails in the Plane, all of it, this is where it all began. Right here. Now, the plane is supposed to follow you wherever you go, but you can outspeed it and fall off. Especially as Super Sonic. You got these turtles with their young on their back um, that will shoot, and I didn't think they actually moved like that when they shot. You got these uh, airplane robots, and you've got just such a nice, relaxing musical piece that's actually, um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted, um, so you might be hearing this differently if I had to do something to avoid it, but it's an actual song made by Dreams Come True, which is a band um, that actually produced music for this game. Ba -da -da -da. So yeah, after all those, you know, your oil lotion, your your uh, me fucking Metropolis, you know, as you know, you're getting close to the end, so you, you deserve a break. And if you notice, this also doesn't, it doesn't say Act 1, it doesn't say Act 2. Also, we just murdered, murdered the turtle that just fell. This is its own self-contained act. A lot of people think, oh, this is so boring, but honestly, I feel like it tells a story, and at least you can, it's like a, a playable cutscene. So as you can see, Robotnik is taken off. And I, I just heard a turtle shoot something. Um, Robotnik is now taken off. And we, we're, we're letting those turtles die because they can't fucking fly. Like, none of these guys' turtles should be able to fly. So what the fuck? Like, they're just... Like, like did, the, did the developers know, like, oh yeah, when you release the animals from this height, uh, they, they just fucking die. 
All right, well, we make it through this turtley bird special right here, and... Uh, and... And it's... it's over? Yep, there we go. Oh, we didn't get it Sonic passed. Alright, folks. Well, we're here. My least favorite stage in the game. I despise this level. This level is a pain in the fucking ass to no fucking... Ah, hey, what? It, it's Scratch, by the way. There's Scratch, and I think it's one of his only appearances in the actual Sonic games. Um, can I go up here? Yay! That's my shortcut. Yay. Fucking, that's the thing you do. The only way I can ever get through this level is if I take shortcuts. And fortunately, unfortunately, you gotta take hits sometimes in order to get that. And I'm gonna get up here. And if you know where to go in this level, you'll be able to avoid all of the fucking issues. And look, he calls himself Eggman. It says Eggman on this ship. I don't want to lose my rings. Not before I get protection. So there's a bunch of areas in this level over bottomless pits. There's some that put all these fans in the way that if you hit, you'll get hit. You gotta watch out for these guys that pop out of nowhere. And... Fucking God. I knew that was coming and I still fucking fell for it. Alright, no matter. But as long as you stick to the top, you'll have a much easier time with this level. Because look, they give you goodies if you want to get supersonic here. If you know what you're doing, so if you can... And they made it easier in this version. I don't think that by on purpose, but they did definitely make it easier for you to get to uh, the top areas here. And let me see if I can uh, make my way. Oh no, I think that'll, that'll I'll surpass it. There we go. And, uh, and then I want to get some good speed so I can get those boxes up there. Oh, no. Well, I can if I go up here, but I don't think I can make it up there. Oh, you know what? Maybe a good idea would be getting... Ha! You turned! You fool! Alright, over here. Alright, and I believe I'm supposed to go down here, but I don't fucking want to. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, and if I spin dash here... Oh! Alright, well that's a good idea. Try not to get killed by them, because when they fall down, they could crush you and kill you. So be very careful. And watch me do that right now. Alright, nope. That's lovely bouncies over there. Oh. Oh, wait, I can make it to the top. Oh, but I can't now because I ran out of bouncy. And, oh no. Damn it. I ran out of that, too. Alright, I would like to get another shield before I, uh. Wait, is it. Do I have to go right? In some of these, you just have to go right. I guess I have to go right. Or I have to go up. Or do I go right just through here? Interesting. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go. Am I, am I supposed to go over? I guess I am supposed to go over. Okay. Um, let's see how I'm going to do that. Because I don't know how I'm going to do that without those ring boxes. Um, and I don't want to have to go back. Uh, oh, I know how I can do it. But I'm, I'll, I'll do that as a last resort. Uh, oh, fuck me. Alright, well, I can make it up there. Alright. Sorry if you guys are getting annoyed with this music. It is very cool and atmospheric. I will say. Alright. Get my potential energy ready. Alright, let's go. Alright, now make it up here. Alright, cool. And now, just need a big jump! Oh. Well, that sucks. Alright. I, I don't know how, where I'm gonna go now. Because it's telling me to go down here. Here, maybe? No. Nope. Alright, you know what? It has to be here. This is the only place I haven't checked yet. No, nope, stop it. Or is it just past that? Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. I didn't... Oh, yeah, I for always forget that this thing is here. Uh-oh. You want to be careful so you don't get sucked out. Oh, and this is the other side. You could also just gone through these to make it to this side. So just be careful. And you want to prepare yourself to land on this platform. And do it, like, right after it appears. All right, good. Because then these will appear after, and you don't want to be hopping on them as they start to disappear like this. Uh, uh... Alright, good, we made it. Alright, and you know what? Hmm, do I want to do this now? Oh, shit. Alright, yeah, I want to do this, first of all. So I don't have to go over that ledge like that. And I'm not going to use it yet. I want to wait till I am at the right moment to use it. 
This area of the level is kind of easier. Oh, shit. But you also gotta watch out for your- count your chickens, as this, as they say in those places where they say those things. Um, you can also do this. Wee! Wee! Uh, it didn't- it didn't- didn't send me further? I was hoping it would send me further. Alright, and soon we'll be coming up on eight checkpoints. And... Boink! And... We have the Robotnik boss fight. But, I'm going to destroy it! So normally, alright, what you have to watch out for here is you can very easily get squashed by these things and crushed when you're not trying to. So just be careful because it's harder to control everything with Supersonic, but very much nice to be able to control that. And there we go. Go over there, you get an extra life in the original version. And once we make it here, we are treated to a cinematic non-playable cutscene that fucking gives me chills every time I see it. So you have Tails fly to catch Robotnik's fucking safety rocket. Just that, that, that he can escape this place as it's being destroyed. Somehow he's able to just get right in there. And somehow, without burning up in the atmosphere, Sonic is able to literally hold on through the forces of God knows how fast he's going. He's able to maintain his grip as they go ascend all the way into fucking outer space! In Sonic 2, we're in outer space! And now we have what is officially the final zone of the game. It's not just called Final Zone, it's called Death Egg Zone. And it has an awesome musical track that we're gonna sit here and listen to for a second because you never actually get to hear it because once you go through those doors or the beginning, you just get the boss fight music. So yeah, I love this music. Um, however, this level, we're gonna be here for a little while. All right, hopefully not though. All right, let's see if I can get him. One, two, three, four. All right, jump over you. Go, go, go. That should be enough. Yes! Alright, good. I did it perfectly. Holy shit, that's insane that I just did that perfectly. Okay. And now, to prove to you that he is the fastest thing alive, look at him go! And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. You have zero rings. This entire boss fight, both of these, you will have zero rings. This is the Death Egg Robot! Let him walk. Let him fly, and do not die. Hit him here, and fucking hold down. He won't be able to hit you if you hold down and you're far away. Repeat several times. And try, try your Midas not to get hit, and I missed my opportunity to hit him there. He takes 10 hits, I believe, not eight. So it's gonna be a little bit longer, but you've got 10 minutes before you can you time over here, so you should be okay. Maybe I won't have him go that far. Alright, cool. Get him jump over here, and... Oh, fuck. I hesitated there. Whew! I hesitated, and I would have landed on the spiked hands. Alright, cool. Bonk! If you keep doing it what I'm doing, you'll be fine. Um... I hope so. Don't come nor- don't- don't walk another step. Okay, good. Woo! Don't give him that much space, then. Jeez. Alright. Alright, cool. Bonk! Alright, go up. I might need to make him go a little bit further. Oh no, shit, shit, shit. Bonk! Alright, now don't walk forward that far come on and try not to go for like i know you'd want to just like oh i can just hit him as many times as i can right now those spikes have a deceptive hitbox do not let them be the end of you because it will be the most frustrating end to not die by one of his attacks but by just attempting to hit him in the first place all right we're doing really good so far oh fuck I almost slipped up again right there. Hopefully, I didn't give him that much walking room. 
All right, good. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm literally doing this as perfect as you possibly could right now. So this is going really well. Boom. It's going to shoot me again. Thankfully, that does not reach that far. All right. I don't know how many hits we've gotten. I already lost count. And bonk! Oh god, I thought I was gonna hit his hand there for a second. Like, I didn't get as much distance on the hop as I had wanted. Do 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 do. And I love this theme too. Not as much as the, um, the theme of this level that we never get to hear, but I do love this theme. Bonk! Oh no. Alright, I think we're one more left. I think it's one more. I think with this, we might be able to defeat him. Let's see. Come on! Land! Land! Bonk! No! I must defeat you! This boss gave me so much fucking shit for years as a kid. Me and my mom, when we played back in then when I was a kid, I could not- we didn't get past Wing Fortress Zone. So by the time I made it here, I could not- OH GOD! I forgot about that. I could not- fucking beat this with zero rings for the life of me. Even in the mobile version that I had on my fucking old ass phone, I beat it with one on one try! I could beat it! I could never beat that one try all the way through! The first time I've ever beat this in one try! Holy shit! This, guys, okay, okay, okay. I know I said this is my favorite game, right? This is my favorite fucking video game of all time. I've never beaten that. I've never, ever, ever, ever beaten that in one try. Oh my god. All the way through. From Mecha Sonic to Death Egg Robot. I've never, ever, ever, ever beaten that in one fucking try. And I just did it for my Let's Play on my first fucking attempt! Oh my god. Oh, this makes me feel so rewarded. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's Sonic 2. Now, if you don't get all the emeralds, you honestly get a better ending, though. And that will, will be what I say, because Tails goes out to save us. Because without Tails and without the emeralds, we would not be able to survive this fall. But Tails fucking saved us. Unfortunately, you won't see that because I'm supersonic right now, so it kind of seems pointless. But Tails shows us that he was there for us. And Tails will always be there for us from this point forward. So that was it, guys. 100%. I beat my favorite game. And I beat the Death Egg Robot and Mecha Sonic for the first try. I did it. That's as perfect as you want to do Death Egg Zone. That's as perfect as you could possibly get it. Like, insane that I was able to just accomplish that. I didn't even know if I was going to fit all of this finale of Sonic 2 into one video. I didn't think, and I'm, I missed the first few minutes of the giant playoff game. Let's hope that they win so I can get two dubs today. But holy shit, guys. Oh no, Yuji Naka, boo! He's a criminal. All right, well, my final thoughts on Sonic 2. What more can I say that I haven't said already, guys? This just, is everything that I love about Sonic the Hedgehog. It's not- and it's not too hard, it's fun, high-speed action throughout the entire level and the entire game. Not in Sonic 1 where you, you go a little bit slow, and I love Sonic CD, but it's not, you know, the, the level design in this game is just better than I think it ever will be in Sonic the Hedgehog. I actually really believe that, and it, I haven't been proven wrong since. Um, this game- this game- if I, if I didn't play this game, I don't know if I would be talking to you people here today. I don't know if I would have even started my Let's Play journey. I don't even know how much of a gamer I would have become. I don't know where I am today without this game. And I could say that also about something I haven't talked about. Sonic 2 the movie. Sonic 2 is so good that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 the movie was so fucking good too. And it's actually my favorite movie just because of how amazing they brought the Sonic and Tails dynamic to life. That is my favorite part of Sonic 2 the movie, and it is an like so amazing that they were able to just translate that, that, that so well from this game where they don't even give you like the story straight up. In Sonic Origins they do. Like you have to learn about that over the years until you can actually see it in this game. 
Also, yeah, they knew that the Fast Casino Night theme was the better one, because here it is now. It's not even the slow one. Um, but that's it, guys. That's it for Sonic 2. Sonic 2, my favorite game of all time. I'm so glad I got to bring it to you guys finally. I'm so glad that it went as well as it did. And we are not done with Sonic Origins, though, guys. We still have one, maybe two games left. Because as you see, the Death Egg, it falls. But it crash lands somewhere where there's someone waiting for us in the shadows. Also, it's cool. It's nice to note that there's the broken Death Egg robot in the background, too. So thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video where we start Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I, I can't, I will never stop gushing about this zone. It's like one of those Pokemon. Oh. Um, I was going to say it's like one of those Pokemon caverns. Um, I'm afraid to keep going because like, are they, I don't know if they're still... No, they're just gone. They're just... They're just gone! What the... Tails! You just... What? What just happened? I've had a lot of glitches in Sonic games over the course of time. That might be the wildest glitch I've